Right. So here is, first I'll just start off by showing the uh, back end of the integration. So this is, so when you get the QuickBooks integration, you'll install a package that uh, installs a bunch of modules inside of Sugar. It will install this interface here that allows you to uh, connect your QuickBooks to your uh, Sugar CRM. Uh, we have the user manual directly on here, uh, which is the lengthy operating manual. It gives you access to all the different components of the integration. Um, this allows you here to configure the integration so you can determine which one, which system you want to be the, the master. And then you can also determine which syncs that you want to uh, put in place. So you have control over your accounting system and you know you can control which one is the master. So if you don't want people to update uh, billing addresses in the CRM, you can make QuickBooks uh, the master. As you can see here, here are the main syncs that we have. So we have customers, uh, QuickBooks customers and accounts. Vendors can sync to accounts. Uh, you can assign the sales reps to the assigned a rep in Sugar. And then you can send quotes to uh, invoices, uh, estimates, sales orders, or purchase orders. And then the corresponding sales history, once it's uh, produced in QuickBooks, can then come back into Sugar. So you can see all the sales receipts, sales orders, estimates, credit memos, and purchase orders. Um, if you have inventory levels or uh, customer-specific pricing set up in QuickBooks, um, you can sync those over uh, into Sugar as well. Um, also within the integration, there's a lot of advanced uh, configuration options. I won't go into those quite yet, but just to give you an example, um, if you didn't want to uh, say if you were mapping from a certain time value, you had QuickBooks for over 15 years, uh, but you only want to map them for the last 10 years. So you can pick certain date ranges. So you can say, I only want to see the sales history um, from 2012 and beyond if you weren't so concerned about uh, some of the other data uh, in there as well. Like I said, we also have uh, complete custom mapping built into the integration, so you can map your specific fields uh, from QuickBooks or Sugar to the fields in the other application. Um, whereas with some of the other integrations, if you wanted to change different field mappings, uh, you would have to pay the provider to sort of code that change, whereas we have complete uh, mapping uh, built in to the product as it relates to customers, vendors, sales history, line items, inventory, and so forth. Uh, here is a dashboard. Um, because you're getting in the data from the uh, related QuickBooks application and syncing it into the CRM, you can now report on that data and add it to your dashboard. So for example, if someone, a rep, wanted to see their top customers based on sales data from QuickBooks just because they want to have them at the top of their, their mind when they're you know, following up with their clients, and that's a dashboard you can set up in the CRM without needing to uh, interact with anyone uh, in the accounting department. Uh, if you want to track sales history by product or by quarter or year over year, uh, reports, you can also leverage that data in here as well. Um, as you can see here, there's some quotes. Uh, the quotes will stay in Sugar until you have changed them, and we'll go into that in a second, until you've changed the status to uh, a QuickBooks specific status. Um, and the integration will install some modules in, in, in Sugar, and we'll show you that in the account, but it'll bring in sales history. Uh, if you have multiple shipping address, it'll bring that in. If you have product price level lists, it'll bring that in uh, as well. So we go into an account and show you what that looks like uh, in the CRM. So here is a customer account. Uh, you have your billing address, your shipping address, and again, you get to determine which one you'd want to be the master. Um, you have a bunch of different fields. These fields could be pulling over directly from QuickBooks. As I mentioned, we have uh, custom mapping. Uh, with the integration, you'll also get a custom field that is a roll-up field based on the last sales date uh, from, from that customer. Uh, so when you're looking at your customer list, you can filter based on that. So if someone hasn't purchased anything 
in six months, you can do a filter, an account filter, based on last sale date. Um, in this case, uh, Cafe Q hasn't bought anything in close to six months, so it's probably a good time to reach out to them and see kind of what's happened. Um, in addition, you also have, we also have some roll-up fields that will roll up the year-to-date sales based on the sales transactions and it will sync over the open balance as well, as well as the credit limit uh, from QuickBooks as well. Below, you'll see all the different uh, components of the integration, so you'll see the sales transactions here. Um, you'd actually have the ability to drill in to the actual sales transaction and see the line items directly in here. Um, so you can see how much it was for, when it was shipped, what the sale total was, the reference number, um, if you're doing shipping, uh, if you're doing uh, integrations to FedEx or UPS and you have the tracking number as a line item, you could view that in here directly as well. So you can drill down into the actual invoices without having to need any uh, interaction with the accounting. We're also breaking it down by sales history by product or service. Um, so you can see specifically how much of each that you have uh, sold to this particular client. And if you have multiple ship twos, those can sync over to here as well, and those can be leveraged on when you're doing the quote in the sales order as well. Um, as you can see here, there are some quotes. There are five of six, and you can see here by the stage that these have been sent over uh, to QuickBooks. So we'll go ahead and uh, drill down into that. So here is a quote inside of sugar so the way that the integration is designed is it'll pull in all of your inventory items directly um, in the sugar product catalog and it gives you the ability then to either search from a defined product catalog either via product categories um, so you can see all the different items here that are, that are pulling in from QuickBooks. Um, you can also type them in directly. So if you know the verbiage, you know the names. As you can see here, everything with cabinet is going to show up as you start to limit, as you start to type in the, the keywords and, and limit, it will limit the choices for you. So it's a dynamic search as well. And then as you can see here, you can put in the product. It'll, it'll default to whatever tax code you have set up in QuickBooks as well as the price. Um, you can give your reps the ability to do discounts or you can not give them the ability based on roles in Sugar. Um, and then you could also use workflows for things like that. So if someone gives a 20% discount on an item, then it could, it could potentially go through an approval process in order for that to flow into QuickBooks. The way that the quotes um, stay in sugar are in the uh, sugar stages. So those stages are kind of determined are up to you. Uh, so they could be, you know, sent, reviewing, uh, negotiating, you know, needs approval, what have you. Um, once they're ready to move, say you adjust the quote, change the line items a bit, and they say, okay, we're ready to move forward on this, all you would have to do is change it to either a sales order or an invoice. And then once you click save, the QuickBooks integration uh, would then trigger uh, to send the sales order or the invoice uh, directly into the CRM or in directly into QuickBooks as well. Um, so that's basically you know, at a high level, the functionality of the integration. Um, it's a productivity integration, so it'll, it'll sync data both ways. It'll eliminate uh, or decrease the amount of dupli duplicated efforts that are happening between sales and accounting. Um, the one other component that I just wanted you to be aware of is we have this uh, other product that's a sugar portal. It's a sugar customer portal. Um, so the fact that you would, it works with all the different modules uh, inside of inside of Sugar. So if you wanted to give your customers access to their invoice data, you could do that through the Sugar QuickBooks integration as well as our cash portal, which would give your customers 
a login so they can come in here and submit tickets if they want so they can add a case you know directly related to something you know if they had if they wanted to see what the recent invoice history was they'd be able to view those details directly in here as well there'd be a you know description pointing to what that invoice was uh, so long as you put that description in the uh, in the QuickBooks invoice so it basically allows you to give them a, a somewhat of a limited access to sugar uh, via a portal as well um, and then it also would allow them to if they wanted to update their contact information or maybe they wanted to update their account information then you'd also get be able to give them access uh, to do that as well um, and then lastly we also work with the uh, activity stream inside of sugar um, so you can come in and someone can say say hey you know we just sent you your invoice please review it and approve it when you get a chance and so you can actually chat with some clients directly through sugars uh, activity stream as well um, I guess we can open it to questions. What I was going to do is just go through the pricing really quickly. Um, so depending on the version of QuickBooks that you have, will the uh, will determine the version of our integration that you have. And you can take a look at the matrix that Jesse provided in the webinar uh, chat or the handouts. Uh, but basically, it ranges anywhere from fourteen ninety nine. This would be QuickBooks Professional and QuickBooks Online. Um, from 20 to 24.99 uh, per year, and implementation costs typically vary uh, based on um, just based on the amount of volume of data that you have in both applications, or more more so in QuickBooks. Um, but yeah, it range from about 1,500 to 2,500 a year, uh, depending on the version of QuickBooks. And the um, so yeah, that's the the pricing of the integration. Um, Jesse, are there any? Uh, that's all. That's about all I had. Is there any questions or? Yeah. So, uh, what kind of training? What kind of training is available um, that that's offered when people you know purchase the integration and then have it implemented? You know, how does how does that work? Yeah, definitely. So one thing I would uh, recommend is buying an implementation package from us. Uh, the one thing I'll, I'll note is that the integration is really robust. We have hundreds of configuration options. So within that, it kind of requires um, you know somewhat intimate knowledge of both QuickBooks and Sugar. Uh, so within that implementation package, you would we would help you with sort of planning the integration in terms of how we understand how your business operates how you wanted the integration to operate, and then we would make some recommendations based on how your business operates. So it wouldn't necessarily require you to have intimate sugar knowledge, but just to have knowledge on your business processes. And then from there, we'll make some recommendations. We'll implement the integration, install it, configure it, uh, sync it with you to get some sign off. And then once, that done, once that's done, there's typically an hour or two worth of training where we walk you through sort of how to how to use the integration uh, from a user perspective in terms of quotes and statuses and viewing sales transactions and things like that. 